What does it mean when you go into beast mode? I don't know. I don't, I don't know how to go into beast mode. You find out what's in you when it just come out. What happened next created actual seismic activity in downtown Seattle and became the defining moment of Lynch's career. So we get into the huddle and they call 17 power. I was like, oh my God, I've been trying to get a power for so long with power. You running straight downhill. You know where we coming and we know where y'all going to be lined up at. Now you just got to stop it. I'm saying I'm better than you. Crowd silent now as opposed to when the Saints have the ball. So I see the guard come around and in my head I'm thinking backside A gap. But for some reason it carried me to the front side. Bounce off the first tackle like uh oh might be trouble. Split between Spencer's block coming off of Sharper. He grabbed at my foot. I stayed up. I said, uh-oh, it might be trouble. Cover ball with two hands. Oh, look at this run. What a run. Marshawn Lynch. Still One of my old teammates, Jabbar Greer, came over the top. He slid off. It's a good run now. But I'm like, uh-oh, it might be trouble. Tracy Porter came up. I gave him a little stiff arm. You know, I stayed on my feet. Get off me, he says to Tracy Porter. Are you kidding me? Yeah, a little baby stiff on. I believe it was Ellis came from behind. I, I took a little quick peek at him and gave him a little stiff arm. Still didn't go down. Uh-oh, I know it's trouble. The next thing I know, Tyler shot in front of me. Look at the hustle by Columbus. They go make a block on Harkin. Dive into the end zone, touchdown. And at the time, I'm just thinking like, what the hell just happened? Did this really just happen? That same reaction instantly occurred throughout the football world. Yeah. Wow. That's the greatest run I ever seen. And that's a bold statement. That's like that was that's the greatest run. I put that number one against any run. But that was me though.